Hey, this is a multi-part series and I have linked part number one in the video description down below. Oh, and if you want to follow along, you go to procurementzen.com slash digital where you can download the resources, chat with fellow students. And by the way, it's completely free. So let's start with video. In this lesson, I'll show you where you can get the Nymanotics platform, how to install it, and we will set it up together so you can use it right away. So here we are over at nime.com slash downloads and you can find the link to that um, to that website below this lessons video as a resource. When you come to that website, you have this little form which you can fill out. You're not obliged to do this. It's not mandatory for downloading it, but I can only recommend to do that because you will then receive the NIME newsletter, which is usually full of very interesting information nuggets. If you don't want to do this, just click the middle step of the process here to the download NIME um, section of it. And here you can choose basically your operating system. I'm working here on a virtual Windows machine, so I choose download in the Windows section and I always use the installer. So we click that and then you just check mark that box that reads that says you have read and accepted the privacy policy and the terms and conditions and then you click on download this yellow button down below here. If I now close the browser and go to my downloads on this Windows machine here, you can find the download here. So the next thing we're going to do, of course, is we just click on that installer file. It takes a moment to download it as it's roughly 560 megabytes big at the time of this recording. So we just double click it and then we run a standard Windows installer. So we allow it, of course, and um, maybe I skip the overall installation part because that might be boring. Of course, here we accept the license agreement. Please read through it um, because if you're accepting a contract, that's what it is. Um, you, of course, should read through it. I click now next. Where would, do I want to install my program? It goes under program files NIME. That's okay for me. Next, I want a desktop shortcut. I want to call it NIME. Um, I also have a short for, um, a folder and it associates the files with NIME. These settings here, especially the file extensions and the URL are very, very important because later on in this course, we're going to show you how you can utilize pre-made templates and workflows from other people, also from the NIME hub. I cover what that is later in that course. So if you want to use that, make sure you have these ones ticked that makes your life much easier. Click next. Then we leave the standard setting as it is right now here. Next. And then we click install. So now that it is installed, we can immediately launch it, which we want to do because there's one very important last step that we have to do. And just a word of warning, so to say, the first start of NIME usually takes a moment, so I speed up that process as well for you here in the video. Let's just click Finish. Now it starts. So now that we first have started the NIME Analytics platform, is it asks us um, where it should store or select a directory as a workspace. I use this one here in my personal user folder. A workspace is very important. The workspace is where NIME stores all of your workflows and your um, files basically of all the work you're doing. We will cover in detail what a workflow is, but this setting is extremely important. So make sure you choose a directory that you can remember 
because this is maybe also from which you then can download and share your own workflows if you intend to do so. So we set this up. I am fine with this setup. You can choose whatever folder you like. Of course, make sure that there is enough space on your hard disk if you want to do this. And once also important to um, yeah, avoid future annoyances, I always click this checkbox. Use this as a default and do not ask again. So now we say launch. And before it finally starts, here it asks you if you want to help to further improve the platform by sending anonymous usage data. Not sure if you want to do this or no. I, for my case here in this case, click no. And here we are in Lime. At first, it looks a little bit crowded and unusual, but don't worry. In the very next video, I'm going to lead you through that user interface. All right, that covers the first lesson of this online course. See you in the next one. If you want to go to the first part of this online course, click this video. And here is just another video that shows you some very funny stuff you can do with Nime. Oh, and if you want to download the resources and chat with fellow students, just go here to this page over at procurementzen.com.